Hello guys, the topic for today is about contract management for construction. Aside from construction works management, contract management has a vital importance of a successful commercial management. It has the planning, agreement for financial and legal aspects, and methods to accomplish better outputs of a project. What is the definition of contract? It starts with an agreement between two or more competent parties to perform or provide a specific tasks or services. The mentioned parties here are between the client or employer and the contractor or service providers. It is important that if you are the client, you'll have an agreement to an experienced contractor or service provider. And the contractor shall have done projects within or beyond expectations. It is also a form of an agreement to buy or sell goods and services from or to another party. One example is when you intend to buy a home appliance and to be paid in installment basis. An agreement has to be signed by the, the, by the buyer before the appliance will be given. The contractor would include amount of amortization, date of payment, and warranty of the product. It may also an agreement for certain obligations to be performed or refrained from. One example is for a construction of masonry wall. Contractor A shall con construct the masonry wall including the plastering but when it comes to painting works, it shall be done by contractor B. Why do we need contract? We need contract because we need certain conditions to establish and define the rights, responsibilities, and relationships of all concerned parties. The usual rule on the conditions of the contract is that the contractor or service provider shall be responsible of the overall tasks or works, then the client shall pay for it. If the contractor or service provider have done works not included in their scope, it shall be claimed accordingly by the contractor to the client or employer. In addition, as to formality, there are contracts which was agreed verbally between the parties, but it is important to be formalized immediately to clearly remind each other that there are conditions to be followed, and it will be effective in the presence of a written contract. As to participants, persons involved in a joint or several contract needs conditions as to who will be responsible for a specific task in the contract. For example, a group of professionals of different area of expertise have entered into a design consultancy contract. The contract requires experts for structural, geological, architectural, electrical, mechanical, and sanitary. Experts of these areas would have different um, uh, obligations and liabilities in fulfilling the requirements of the contract. As to legality, for avoidance of doubt from the side of client or contract or employer, sorry, the contractor or service provider shall have all legal documents issued from different governing bodies to show proof of his competence when entering into a contract. And legally, a contractor or service provider is expected to have been performed past contracts which are compliant under the law of the country. What involves in the usual conditions of the contract for construction? First is, when will the start of the contract? Usually, date start is, an, is on client's or employer's discretion, but it is important 
that it has been agreed by both parties. How long the duration of the contract? The duration shall be supported by detailed program or schedule which shall be submitted by the contractor or service provider to the client or employer. How much the contract amount? Um, this is the cost of the whole works or services. What are the permits to be provided? Does the contractor is being required to um, apply permits prior and after the project which shall be provided to the client or employer? What are the bonds and insurances to be provided? Bonds and insurances are important because this, uh, this will protect the interest or rights by both parties. How the party who is giving the services be paid? Well, payments may be, uh, may be paid per accomplishment basis, periodical, or depending on their agreement. How to treat the additional works? Is it paid or donated? In cases of, of ambiguity, what condition shall prevail? There might have conflicts or a confusion within all documents involved in the contract. It is important that when it happened, there shall have a condition to follow by both parties. Reconciliation at the end of the contract. Well, before closing the contract, it is good to review the output or if um, there are variances uh, to what was required as completed. If completion within the duration has been delayed, how will it be treated? Well, um, if it is by the contractor or service provider, it will be by um, the client's discretion to penalize the other party. Whereas if it is by the client or employer's default, the contractor or service provider shall be entitled for any means of claim such as additional cost or extension for uh, duration or services. In case of disagreement between the involved parties, can the agreed party sue in court the other party? Um, well, the court does not really interfere when the client and contractor enters into a contract. But if there will have a dispute as hereby submitted by the other party to the court, the court will decide as to whoever is accountable. And um, last is the termination of contract. Well, guys, um, as much as we can, termination of contract shall be the only last option. Let me remind you that there has more disadvantages when terminating a contract, believe me.